Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hello everyone, hope you are doing well wherever you are uh, Today I will be reacting on this video from One Islam Productions uh, The title of the video is This sin may erase all your good deeds From a scary hadith of the Prophet peace be upon him uh, Without wasting so much time, let's get into it uh, let's see uh, what it's all about. It is a scary hadith, but I need to mention it because we have young brothers and old brothers and we're all in need of guidance. The Prophet wasallam mentions this hadith in the narrator's Tawban radiallahu an. The Rasul says, min ummati. I know people from my ummah, from the Muslims. يأتون يوم القيامة بحسنات أمثال جبال تهامة بيضاء. They will come in the day of judgment with good deeds the size of mountains glowing bright. So the Rasul says فيجعلها الله هباء منثورا. And yet Allah رب العزة will make it disappear like husks of Price, you know, it just blows away in the wind. Haba'am mansura. All their deeds will disappear. So the Sahabi asks, Ya Rasul, describe them to us so we don't do what they do. So the Rasul said, Ama innahum min ikhwanikum. They are from your brothers. Uh, firstly, before we move forward, let just. Uh, let uh, what has been said as sin in first of all. Imagine yourself on the day of judgment. You uh, come with mountains and mountains of good deeds. You find yourself uh, having all that, but Allah making it disappear like uh, you know uh, the the cup of rice or the husk of rice. Right? That is just blown away by wind and it goes useless. I mean, uh, it has no uh, benefits. Imagine that for yourself before we even let this video go further. Let us just try to imagine yourself going uh, in the hereafter, on the day of judgment, and coming a lot of good deeds back. It is all like blown away, just like you know, wind just blows everything away and you're left with nothing. Just imagine that scenario. Women jildatikum and from your tribesmen and they're not ordinary Muslims. They are people who wake up in the middle of the night and pray as you pray. But what is the problem? But they are people when in seclusion they transgress against the limits of Allah Rabbul Think Muslim when he and she is alone in a room and there's a screen and a laptop and a computer and a phone. They transgress against the limits and boundaries of Allah Rabbul The poem says it beautifully. Amastahiyayta ta'asini Ida ma qala li rabbi Amastahiyayta ta'asini وتخفي الذنب عن خلقي وبالعصيان تأتيني If my Lord were to ask me, did you have no shame from me? أما استحييت تعصيني, did you have no shame in disobeying me? وتخفي الذنب عن خلقي, and you kept your sin hidden from my creation وبالعصيان تأتيني, and you came with your sins to me. You're afraid of a cat coming into your room, but you are not afraid that I was watching. So if your sin, listen to me Muslims, because I need to clarify this. If the sin in seclusion happens out of weakness and out of a slip, and it is not jurra against Allah Rabbul Izzah, that is an ordinary sin. But if you sin, recognizing and aware that the Lord is watching, and yet you still don't care and persist, then you have fallen in courage against Allah Rabbul Izzah and then Allah will delete the deed. So my dear brothers, as was the condition of our predecessors, 
Concentrate in my Allah, Rabbul Izzah, grant me a new tawfiq. Not only on doing the deed and my Allah grant you the capacity to do a lot of khayr, but concentrate on the deed being accepted after it is done and my Allah, Rabbul Izzah, accept from me and from you. Um, very touching video. This is actually so touching, especially for, for the young people and also the old. Um, what we basically learn is that we should be able to uh, fear Allah whenever we are alone, where people are not watching. We should be in that position to fear Allah. This is for every one of us, for every one of us, the Muslim brothers and sisters. We should watch our steps when we are alone. Let us always have uh, in the back of our mind that Allah is watching us. Very important. And uh, with this video, I think I pray that Allah guides all of us uh, and puts taqwa in our hearts so that we are able to fear Him in seclusion where people are not watching us. And uh, uh, may Allah uh, accept from our good deeds and make it as a mean of expiation of uh, the wrongdoing that we are, we are, we are going through, uh, that we have been doing. I uh, hope uh, we have learned something from this video. And uh, uh, give this video a like, uh, share it with a friend, uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, click on that link button. Uh, click, click on that bell uh, just in case uh, I drop another video, you are able to uh, receive a clear notification. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.